them real quick and do a request that someone asked me to do, which is review the African Pride um, Shea Butter Miracle line. Um, I do have quite a few products, but I don't, I think they have like a detangling shampoo or something like that. So that's the only product that I don't have, but all of the rest of the products that I have. Of course the product that you guys know that I adore and I speak so highly of because I love it is the, um, the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Bouncy Curls Pudding. Um, I use this on my hair all the time. Like this, <laughs> oh, this product, I just, I really, really, really like it. Like I can't, there's nothing negative that I can say about it. Um, it's just amazing to me. I always get positive results every single time I use it. Um, like I said, I really, I can't say anything negative about it. It's a creamy substance. Um, hopefully you can see. And it's all gone. This tub is gone. I have none left. I have to go to the store and buy some. But it's 15 ounces. The directions say to rub a generous amount of pudding between your palms and gently finger comb section by section from root to ends. Continue stretching and elongating curls until satisfied with your curl definition. So I'm guessing that people use this actually as a wash and go product, but you guys know me, I don't do the whole wash and go. I use it on my twist outs. I did try this on a braid out once, but I just, I can't stand braid outs. I don't even know why I tried it. But on a twist out, it leaves my hair so moisturized. Although I normally don't use creamy products for um, wet twist outs, I actually did on this and I got really good results. My hair didn't feel um, dry. It didn't feel really shrunken. My hair still felt moisturized. The one thing above anything that I can say about this product is the moisture is insane. Like, I just love it. Like, I, I cannot go wrong with this. I use this all the time when I have it because it's so hard to find because I guess everyone else in the world thinks that it's amazing too. So it's never on the shelf. But I really love this product for the people who, you know, don't do cones at all. You cannot try this. So, yeah. But I really, this is my favorite amongst the entire line. Like, I adore the Bouncy Curls, but I love it. The next one that I'll go ahead and talk about is the Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I, normally I don't use Leave-In Conditioners unless it's my detangler, like the Aunt Jackie's um, detangler that I use is a detangler plus a leave-in. Because I can't really detangle with this, I guess to me I really just don't know how to use it. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if I wash my hair, um, I condition it, and then after I wash that conditioner out, then I put the leave-in conditioner on, okay, well I still have to detangle my hair. So now I'm using something else on top of my hair, or on top of the leave-in conditioner, you know what I mean? So it's like I really can't say how amazing this is because yes, I did use it on my hair. My hair felt soft, it felt extremely manageable, but again, I was also using something else to detangle my hair after I put the leave-in conditioner on. So that's kind of like two products. So I can't really say for sure. If this is the product that made my hair extremely moisturized or if it's a combination of using this and then the Aunt Jackie's detangler like I I can't say all I can say is that my hair did feel really soft um, it did feel really manageable but again I have not used this product alone I haven't just washed my hair and put this on my hair after um, as my, you know, leave-in conditioner and then just ran with it. Like, I haven't, so I can't really say. If they had, like, a conditioner that you wash out, I think I would enjoy that better um, than just the leave-in conditioner. If you've used it, definitely let me know what you think about it. The next product that I've tried on the line is the Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Buttery Cream. Now, this one is pretty much gone like I've used this out 
So basically, I use this on my hair when I retwist. Let's say I use the bouncy curls pudding to twist my hair in the beginning, and then I'll use like a dime size to retwist my hair um, at night, whether it's every night or every other night, and I'll use the buttery cream because I really just want something that's gonna give my hair moisture to retwist at night. I don't wanna retwist my hair with the same product or another curly pudding or whatever. Like you really just want to re-moisturize your hair so it's not dry in the morning. I found that when I keep using the product night after night or even every other night, my hair feels real heavy and it feels real, um, I don't know, it just feels really weighed down, like it's just too much going on, when honestly it is too much because I'm doing too much. So, I retwist my hair, like I said, every night or every other night with this, and the next morning my hair is always soft, and it gives me that like real fluffy look that I'm always trying to go for. Um, so I really enjoy this, I have nothing negative to say about this. This is basically just moisturizer. That's what I use it for. I really love this. Um, would I run out and purchase it all the time? No, it's not a need that I have this, you know, in my collection. But if I do see it and, you know, I'm feeling good that day, then, yeah, I'll probably purchase it again because, I mean, it works for me. It's really good. So, I like this one. And the last product that I have from the African Pride line is the Silky Hair Moisturizer. Now, I have heard... I have seen on Instagram that a lot of people really don't like this. I think I might be the only one who stands for this. I don't know why. So I use this on my hair. Like I said, it's a silky hair moisturizer. But I don't use this on my hair when I um, retwist. I think I did when I first bought it. But then I was like, yeah, I'd rather use the um, buttery cream because this is a little more heavier. So I use this on my hair, like let's say I'm wearing like two flat twists or I'm pushing my hair back into, you know, a bun for the week because I'm being lazy. Um, I will use this like on my edges or just like my whole entire hair. Like I'll just pour this, well not pour because it's really thick. But I'll squeeze this into my hand and I'll just put it all over my hair and then, you know, work it in um, with my fingers and just smooth it in my hair and work it in like that. And it leaves my hair very moisturized. It honestly, like, brings my hair back to life because, as I've said before, sometimes I can get real trifling and go to sleep without a stand bonnet and be rolling around on a pillowcase and the next morning I'm like... Oh gosh, like my hair feels dry like tumbleweed. So if I put this on my hair, I don't spray water on my hair um, if I use this because I don't know, that just doesn't seem, I don't think that water and this would mesh well. I think it would take a long time for this to dry and really work in your hair if you wet your hair in the morning and then put this on top of it. That's just what I think because it's very thick. Girl, you can try it and let me know. I, however, just put this on my hair. Like I said, I just work it in really good and my hair feels soft. It looks like, you know, it has some life to it. It doesn't look like I've been rolling around on my, you know, non-satin pillowcase at night. If I had to give the whole entire product line a grade, I would definitely give it a B. Um, only because of the leave-in conditioner, I guess. I just, uh, and you know I don't use the shampoo but that's no fault of the company if you've used any of these products definitely let me know how they work for your hair everybody has different you know textures and all that jazz so um, yeah definitely let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys soon